Hi friends, it's Rabbi Jenny Solomon here in Raleigh, North Carolina. On September 1st, during this month of Elul, sharing a mincha moment with you. So this week I'm thinking a lot about the sound of the shofar, which we hear every day during the month of Elul and culminating into many, many blasts on Rosh Hashanah, and then eventually with a single closing blast at the very end of Yom Kippur. And one of the things that the shofar intends for us to feel and to hear is that of a cry, in fact, a crying mother. And so I won't go into the whole long story about um, the connection of the shofar to uh, the mother of Sisera, actually, um, who cries, and it is upon hearing of the death of her son that the shofar um, gets its sound of a crying mother. But I will say that anybody who has heard the shofar sound, um, you can imagine very easily the way in which the sound that this horn makes, um, this horn of an animal with the, the power coming from the human breath, creates this sound of a crying human. And we are trying in this moment as we prepare for teshuva and do the work of teshuva, of coming home to our intentions, to our best selves, um, coming home to God, coming home to our um, repair of our relationships. Uh, there's this understanding that in all likelihood, it's helpful and cathartic and supportive to cry. But the beautiful thing is that in the series of blasts that are offered, of course, we begin with tikiya, this single whole note, and we end with tikiya gedola, once again, this single whole note, but extended. And in between, we hold these variations on broken shofar notes. The broken notes of shivarim, literally meaning brokenness, which is often sort of, um, manifested with three, uh, three sounds linked together, and then a tirua, which is a sound broken up into many, many, many pieces. And so what I like to imagine is actually that the tikiya on one end and the tikiya gadola, these both of these whole notes can kind of cradle all the broken notes in between. And I wanna suggest um, as we sit for a couple of moments in quiet together, that we can also hold our cries this way. We can hold up our own suffering and our own brokenness in this way, just like the shofar. And we can sensitize ourselves to the brokenness in the world and in others in this way as well. That is to say, we don't have to have all the answers to fix the broken parts and the broken pieces, certainly not alone, any one of us, but we can hold it in compassion. We can hold it with a big, wide embrace and that we can hold it with the strength of our own wholeness, that wholeness that dwells inside of us, no matter what, no matter how broken we feel, no matter how broken the world feels, we can hold all of that with the wholeness that is always inside. So I invite you to find a comfortable seat. You may position yourself on a chair or a couch, or perhaps if you have a cushion or mat, you can even lie down if that's gonna feel good and grounding. And I invite you to close your eyes or hold your eyes at half mast. And just to begin turning down the volume on the outside and turning our gaze inwards with a couple of deep breaths. Breaths of clearing. Perhaps a breath of release. And a breath of coming into connection with this moment. This body. 
this life, this breath. And so as we feel ourselves begin to settle, we feel our connection to the earth, the way in which we are all held in our brokenness by the gravitational force which keeps us close and also that force of dignity that resides within and allows us to reach upwards, to hold our heads high. As we sit here and breathe together, you may notice thoughts physical sensation, the breath moving in and out. You may notice feelings of sadness, of joy, of gratitude, of worry, of relief all the bits and pieces. And in particular, we may become aware of our own suffering, our own cries. The cries of the world. So we use our loving attention to hold the truth of that experience. With compassion. The divine is known by many names in Judaism. One of them is Ehiyeh Asher Ehiyeh. impossibly translated, but often rendered as I am that I am. This breath, this moment. And the divine is also Shomea Tzakot, the one who hears our cries, all of our cries. cries of the shofar be an external manifestation of the cries of our own hearts, the cries of all those who suffer and know the pain of being alive. May we hold like those whole notes of tikkia, may we hold those cries, our own and those of others with wholeness.
And one day may those cries turn into tears of joy.